every marble accessory in this video was made on these two 3D printers. What if you could make your own? In past videos, I reviewed over 70 3D printed add-ons for Gravitrax marble runs that you can buy from eager Etsy entrepreneurs. For this video, I printed 250 marble accessories on these printers from Bamboo Lab, just to answer the burning question that's keeping you up at night. Hmm, what can a Bamboo Lab printer do for my marble run hobby? That's right, Marble Fiends. What if you could bulk up your bodacious builds from hundreds of designs for groundbreaking gadgets and gizmos graciously gifted to Gravitrax fans by a growing group of geometric modeling geeks who are generating a goldmine of Gravitrax-compatible goodness grabbable for gratis from the global Googleverse? That would be great. Imagine no longer waiting for semi-annual Gravitrax product launches, but enjoying new Marble Run experiences anytime, merely by pressing print. Bamboo Lab sent me their A1 and A1 Mini 3D printers to check out and sponsored this three minute overview of the A1. But three minutes isn't enough because after putting a thousand hours of print time on these machines, it would take 30 minutes to cover everything I want to say about them. So we'll cover the highlights now and postpone the rest for another video. Because yes, these printers kind of do it all. They even play music. Seriously, watch to the end of this video and I'll make the printer play a song for you. And since I have overflow, yo, let Bamboo Lab know in the comments below if you want a second video in which I will show you things I must now forego. So I'll put them in a scroll. It's escrow. Yeah, the printer isn't slow. It looks white in the snow, but don't put it there though. That's too cold. Ten below. Watch your marble runs go as they reach the next plateau from the plastic that will flow into new parts. Hello, it's time to go pro, bro. With the 3D printer, it's time to go pro for your marble runs. It's time to go pro, bro. With the 3D printer, it's time to go pro for your marble runs. This video focuses on the A1 printer combo, which bundles the larger A1 printer and the AMS Lite. AMS stands for Automated Materials System. And yes, this accessory, so cool it has its own acronym, does what you're thinking, Automated Multicolor Printing, with up to four different filaments. But because there is no perfect tech, I will also reveal the printer's downsides, the nagging nuisances and negative annoyances I discovered, including which ones are fixable and how to fix them. Then you'll be totally informed before buying your own Bamboo Lab printer using my affiliate link in the description, triggering a commission that should be enough to buy my family a pizza. Thank you for the pizza. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, I'm not sure I want a 3D printer. Aren't those fabrication fixtures so finicky they need frequent fiddling, fine tuning, and five hours of fault fixing every fourth Friday just to get good print results? That used to be true, but in June 22, Bamboo Lab released its flagship X1C printer combo, which automated much of the setup and troubleshooting and filament changes. It printed so fast, and yet the prints were such good quality that it caught everyone's attention, raising the bar for consumer 3D printers. I bought mine in May 23 and have been a fan of Bamboo Lab ever since. But at almost $1,500, it's probably overkill for a casual hobby like Marble Runs. Well, what if you could get most of the same capabilities for a third the price? Now you can. The A1 printer has a print volume large enough to make a 10 inch cube. The bed is big enough to print 15 Gravitrax size tiles at once. It can print super long single piece marble rails that extend five Gravitrax spaces and even make 10 inch tall pillars. That's equal to 25 Gravitrax height tiles. Just like the X1C, the A1 3D printer just works due to its built-in sensors and computer brains that automatically set up each print, detect issues, and notify you if maintenance is required. Like when it told me the X-axis belt was a little loose. How did it know? Because the resonant frequency sensing accelerometer in the print head wasn't giving the expected readings? <sighs> and a force sensor in the A1's print head maps the bed surface so it can get that crucial first layer of filament placed just right without any manual setup. This is one smart printer. But Bamboo Lab's real genius was integrating a 3D printing ecosystem where everything works together in a seamless world of printers, online designs, online store with filaments and more, and phone and computer apps that talk to each other. Even the filaments talk with built-in RFID tags in the spool that tell the AMS light their filaments type and color. 
How cool is that? But the A1 prints just fine with other brand filaments. Just use the printer's color touchscreen to enter the filament info. All the parts in this video were printed with a mixture of bamboo and non-bamboo PLA and PETG filaments, like these curvy rails printed with translucent PETG. The A1 combo detects if filament runs out and can automatically switch to a backup spool. The printer's Wi-Fi setup is super easy, after which you can remote control your printer from anywhere in the world using the Bamboo Handy app for iOS and Android and the full-featured Bamboo Studio slicer software on Windows and Mac. Now you can turn your Marble Run dreams into reality with the delicate press of your manicured finger against the touch-sensitive glass of your cell phone. Oh, it's just too easy. Time to load the Handy Counter. Let me show you just how handy it is to use the very handy Bamboo Handy Phone app to print some handy Marble Run parts. But first, a caveat. I do not condone making copies of Ravensburger Gravitrax parts. Though handy, it's generally not cost effective and can violate Ravensburger's patents. But if you need some of these handy straight through marble tiles that Ravensburger should have made but didn't, 3D print them. These tiles are worth their weight in gold, so let's print one in Iridium Gold Metallic PLA Filament from Bamboo Lab. We'll use the app to search Maker World, Bamboo Lab's handy 3D model sharing platform for handy models of Gravitrax. There we go, the straight tile. Let's print that. Hit prepare to print, then choose one of the handy print profiles. Hit next. We select the A1 printer and we're going to use the printer's included textured PEI build plate. We can see what filaments are loaded. That's a handy feature. Let's make sure to print with the gold filament. Start print. Now it's Wi-Fiing the model to the printer. This handy feature makes it a lot easier than transferring files with a memory card. And now I can see real time from the printer's handy built-in 1080p camera, unless the privacy cover is over the lens, and the camera can also save time-lapse video to the included 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And a half hour later, there's our Gravitrax Gold. That looks like a million bucks. Let's make a bunch of these. This other handy print profile has 12 of them already on the build plate. Wow, and we can even hit the handy print parts button and select exactly how many to make. Guys, we just did all of that with the phone in our hand. That's literally handy. Here's some things you can buy from the Bamboo Lab store. Filament refills that reuse the eco-friendly Bamboo Lab filament spools. Accessories like this smooth PEI plate and handy liquid glue pen. Maker kits with hardware for pre-planned print projects like this marble run kit I built. Parts for makers like bearings, springs, hardware, magnets to make marble cannons, and a USB motor that's great for making marble lifts. Additional quick swap hot ends including hardened steel and different nozzle sizes like this 0.2 millimeter nozzle for printing detailed parts such as this intricate 10 inch tall Eiffel Tower with 2500 layers of filament, one for every 5 inches of the real tower's height. Let's take a look at how our marble accessories turned out. We'll start with these trestle tiles and trestle turntable topper from Thingiverse. Here comes the marble train. Now let's give the AMS light a workout with this full four color print of Stuart and Stuart and a multicolor Big Ben. This one messed up. I really tested the color capability by covering this with a four color camouflage. These Notre Dame tiles really turned out awesome. Here's a castle rail from Printables, Pac-Man pillar decor from Maker World, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and the Statue of Liberty in copper silk PLA. A tie interceptor that almost works. Lots of marble lifts. Someone help me, I just can't stop printing. And did I mention it's fun just to watch the A1 print? It's like free therapy. The printer is fairly quiet, though not quiet enough to place in a bedroom. Let's look at the downsides of the A1 combo and which ones we can fix. Overall, many of the prints on the A1 turned out stunning with smooth surfaces, but overall quality was not quite as good as the X1C. In particular, I found four areas where the A1 struggled with print quality 
using default settings, but we can make improvements by tweaking settings in Bamboo Studio. Some parts had overhangs that looked like melted cheese, even with slow down for overhangs selected. After a lot of testing, I determined the A1 was printing too fast, laying down plastic on top of print layers that had not yet solidified. Fix this by increasing the minimum layer time in filament settings. Filament bridges tend to be messy, so try enabling tree supports on the build plate to support the bridged area. After color changes, blobs of filament oozing from the nozzle often get smeared on the print. Fix this by enabling the prime tower, or with some prints you can select print infill first so the blob ends up inside the print where it won't be seen. Shiny specialty filaments showed some slight ringing, so I suggest slowing down the outer wall speed and acceleration with these filaments. The A1 combo has three design shortcomings that can be corrected by spending a couple days in Meta Land printing these upgrades available on Maker World. The printer spits filament poop all over the table, so you absolutely need a poop bin and maybe a poop shield. Yes, I said poop. The AMS light takes up a lot of table space, but you can 3D print a kit designed by Bamboo Lab to mount the AMS light on top of the printer. But after a month of use, the bracket spontaneously unsnapped and dropped the AMS light on the table with a crash. I'm gonna zip tie the bracket so it stays closed, but search Maker World for one of the top mount mods that bolts shut so this doesn't happen to you. The print head cable droops, but looks much better with these cord guides. It's also worth printing a toolbox for the included printer tools and swatch plates for the included bamboo filament color swatches. If I could ask Bamboo Lab to fix four things about the A1 printer combo, they would be the placement of the print bed magnets make it nearly impossible to get the print plate positioned properly on the first try. I feel like I'm in a tug of war with the magnets. Filament spools are easy to load but difficult to remove. The hub mechanism is already strangely complicated, so why not add a quick release button? Feeding filament into the AMS light is annoying because you have to do it by feel from underneath, and the filament gets stuck on an internal ledge just past the feed gears. Bamboo Lab filament spools are labeled with filament type, but not color. We need the color name on the spool label for identification, and filament swatches only have a cryptic code you have to look up on the Bamboo store. That's inconvenient. That wraps up the downsides of the A1 printer combo. And now the printer plays a song. I have way more to share with you, but we're out of time and we haven't even covered the A1 mini combo, which is only a quarter of the price of the X1C. Head to my affiliate link in the description to buy your own Bamboo Lab printer, filaments, and accessories to make your marble masterpieces even more marvelous. Hmm.